B4, the accelerated wing gambit. Hello, my name is William, and in this video we will be looking at Magnus Carlsen's best game in his fifth Banter Blitz show on Chess24. He's playing against fellow Chess24 user A's Bells, who has a rating of 2826. Let's check out this game. E4, C5, Knight F3, Knight C6, B4, a wing gambit. In this position, black played C takes B4. But is there another option? Maybe Knight takes B4 is actually a better move. After C3, Knight C6, D4, it's good to play D5. There's a big difference between this position and the game. Because the Knight cannot go to C3. Let's check out the game after b4, take, d4, and now d5 was played. d6 is possible, because after d5 you can put the knight on e5. Here Magnus took straight away on d5. A very bad move would be e5, gaining space in the center, but giving black the option to target white center. Queen b6 putting pressure on d4, bishop e3, e6. Knight e2 and then knight e7. Knight f5 is coming, queen b6, black is just up a pawn and has a great position. Magnus here had to take in the center and after queen d5, c4. Queen a5, this gives white a huge edge, but what else was possible? b takes c3 looks right because you are getting rid of white having two pawns in the center. After knight takes e3, queen a5, attacking the knight. We go bishop d2, e6. Looks like black's doing okay. We could go queen b3 instead, with ideas of bishop c4. It's knight f6, let's say bishop c4. I guess just e6. White has compensation. And the game goes on. In the game, c4, queen a5. D5. Looks like Magnus is taking over. Knight b8, bishop d3, bishop g4, castle. Why is ahead in development? It's worth a pawn. His pieces are better coordinated. In this position, we've got ideas of rook e1, bishop f4, you can go a3. White has a very nice position. Black chose knight f6, now knight bd2. Knight d7, a3. Knight c5. And now Magnus goes straight for the exchange sacrifice with a takes b4. Really cool move. Queen takes a1, b takes e5, and now e6. Are you enjoying the video so far? Then why not subscribe to the channel and like the video at the same time? Back to the game. Queen on a1 might be misplaced. Magnus tries to take advantage of it with queen b3. Attacking b7. And now queen a6. This retreat he missed. Magnus continues his initiative with bishop b2. Here, there was a really nice move, knight g5. If bishop takes c5, then knight e4, take, take. If you move the bishop, then it looks like c5 and the queen is in a lot of trouble. After c5, you have to play queen a5, but then after queen b7, the white really is taking over. If something like rook d8, you can even go d6. White is in charge. Knight g5 is a really cool move, uh, Magnus did not play. In the real game, he played bishop b2, bishop takes c5, nice tactic coming up, bishop takes f6, g takes, and now knight e4, the whole point of bishop b2, attacking both the c5 bishop and the pawn on f6. If you play a move like bishop e7, c5, just like in the previous variation, white is taking over, queen b7, rook d8, you can go d6, knight e4. Bishop f3 was chosen by black. Now, what was another option? A lesser evil would have been queen b6. It does give white the option to get two pieces for the rook after take, take, check, and then take. But this is better than the game. Black can try and keep fighting. However, after bishop takes f3, which was played in the real game, knight takes c5 is the intermezzo. And after queen b6, Magnus found a great way to enter the black position. Now let's have a look at other moves. Rook g8 is a nice move first, forcing g3. And after queen d6, queen takes b7, rook b8, queen a7. Maybe black is doing okay. 
queen b6 was played. Here, queen d6 was vital. If we compare it to the real game, knight takes c5, queen b6, queen a4 check, finding a way to come in. There are three options, only king e7 is possible. If king d8, then queen d7 is mate. If king f8, knight d7 will win the black queen. King e7 is forced. Queen d7 check, king f8, and now d takes e6. Bishop h5 now defends f7. You cannot play take, because after knight e6 it's just over. Mate on g7. Black chooses to defend f7. And now the king, queen, and bishop really are misplaced. Magnus now plays a move to attack the h5 bishop and threaten a knight fork. The move is queen d5, finishing the game off. You cannot move this because knight d7 will be the fork that we have just seen. Queen d5, queen c6, queen takes h5, take, bishop e4, queen e8, check, king e7, knight takes b7. The game will be over soon. Rook c8, queen g7, check. After queen f7, Magnus goes for the material. Queen takes f7 check, knight d6 check, take take, and then bishop d3. Let's see the rest of the game. I have lots of easy primos, f5 hands down. And he might as well resign at this point. I have way too much time. And there goes his rook as well. Okay, good game. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, then why not like the video and subscribe to the channel at the same time. Plus check out all the other videos I know you'll love too. Plus hit that bell to get notified each time a new video is released. Until next time.